there's so much bad olive oil out there in the world that it's just really nice to find a finishing oil um, that really can take center stage um, and really finish dishes in the way that I really want them to finish. Um, you know, this is this is Sejano. It's a single estate and uh, single varietal olive oil. Um, it's extra virgin, obviously, cold pressed, beautiful, small run, um, and they're just they're olivastra uh, olives, and they're just from Tuscany. Beautiful, fresh, uh, still lightly green. Um, doesn't have a, that acid finish that a lot of extra virgins have these days, um, and it's just really pure. What I like about great olive oil is that it differentiates itself from everything else in the oil world and it's just that beautiful little touch that just uplifts a dish to a new sort of level. Um, this simply on pasta with uh, beautiful Parmesan Reggiano uh, and some chili flake and some chopped anchovies would be my idea of a really simple supper. Um, so it's really flexible. It's great to have a great olive oil next to your stove. Um, but this with a squeeze of olive oil or a squeeze of lemon juice with some arugula and some fresh ground pepper and some sea salt, that's another way of using these things. So it's good. You know, you want your cooking oil. Uh, you want your good cooking olive oil as well. But then you want a really good finishing oil. And though the price seems high with something like a great olive oil, the amount you use is so judicious and so small that it really goes a long way. You want to make sure that your olive oil is always kept in a cooler, dark place. Um, olive oil does go rancid, so we want to make sure that it's really fresh. Um, like spices, olive oil should be probably bought in relatively small quantities. But this is a great, great gift idea and a really awesome oil.